the first thing you need to do is shut the water off. The water supply to the system, you see a valve like this, here's a backflow preventer. Shut that water off. Because you can't blow air into the lines if water is being supplied. So now the water's off for the year. That'll stay like that until next spring. Next, we have to find out where the water comes out of the house. In this house, it's through this fitting here, comes out, down, and into the valve manifold here where we have three zones in this house for the sprinkler system. So there's a T here that will allow it, we'll put a little air fitting on this T and that'll allow us to put air into the system and blow the three zones out one at a time. Take this little plastic plug out, which is in the system for most of the year, in normal operation. Let's get rid of this plug. There'll be some water that comes out. Now we've shut the water off. So that's just residual water coming out of that line. Then I got a little air fitting here on a brass adapter that we can thread into this plastic T. And it doesn't have to be tight because brass on plastic will seal pretty good with air. Just like that, finger tight. Then we have our air hose, which we'll put on. There's no pressure in it right now. We got the other end of the air hose that we'll put in a little compressor here. So here's a 6.2 standard cubic foot per minute at 90 PSI. 6.2 cubic feet per minute. So that's a very small compressor. People say you need many, 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 many more cubic feet for, per minute. I've blown these sprinklers out with this compressor for 16 years and never had an issue, never had anything freeze. So here's how I do it. First, I'm gonna turn the unloader all the way down so there's no air going through the line. Then we're just gonna crank it up and get some pressure in the system. <laughs> We got 150 PSI, so that's as high as it's gonna go. There's some hissing there, there's a leak somewhere. Let's not worry about that right now. Now we have air here, or we will have air. We have three zones. So let's do the back zone first, that's this one. I'm just gonna open it up, quarter turn. That valve's open now. So let's introduce some air. A little bit at first because the lines are full of water. Just a little bit. I'm gonna crank this up, give it a little bit of air. Here's the low point over here. This will be the lowest point in the yard. So this one will blow water for the longest time as those lines get emptied. The wagon in the way. At first, this little bit of pressure will be enough while there's water in the lines. Once it's only air, we'll have to cycle the compressor. We'll have to fill up those tanks and then let them go. But you can see already, most of the water's gone. This would be the high point of the system. It's empty already. And we'll go back to the compressor. Now the tank's losing air. It's really too low of a pressure to do anything right now, so. We'll close it off. Let the pressure build back up. You can 
see we're getting to the end already with just two cycles. There's only four, four uh, heads on this system, but they're big heads. They blow quite a, quite a lot of water. That's good for this zone. So now we'll let the air build back up. Let that air build. And let's shut our zone off here manually. You can do this with the computer as well, but I'm just doing it manually. Well, let's do the next zone. Once we get pressure, we'll open it up. the high point in the system will begin getting air first these other lower points down lower on the slope will continue blowing water for a little while and I've just bumped that up to a 40 or 50 psi I don't want to put too much psi in it right now Eventually, when the tank runs out, the sprinklers will go back down because there's not enough air to maintain. This is where if you have a high pressure compressor, you can keep blowing it. This one you have to cycle. We'll do that three or four times until I'm satisfied that most of the water's out of the system. Finally, this last zone. The water begins to empty. We start getting into air. Still water down there by the street, a little bit lower. On this one, there's three zone, there's three uh, heads, so you can hear the compressor is continuing to pump and maintain enough air. So a small compressor like this can keep blowing air in about three zones, three uh, heads, maybe four. But when you start getting five, six, seven, it just won't. You gotta cycle it. Or you gotta have a big trailer behind your truck, a big air, diesel air compressor that some guys say you need, which I think is BS. You need 150 cubic feet a minute. No, you don't. You really don't. You need a little bit of patience in an hour. And this one might actually maintain these heads up with just air. 
because there's really no more water coming out. It's just a bunch of air and a little bit of vapor. Even the one down by the street. And that's how you blow underground sprinklers out for the winter with a relatively small air compressor. I've done it with this compressor for 16 years. Never had a single issue, never had a single broken plastic piece. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope this helps you blow your sprinklers out for the winter. But it's up to you. If you get broken plastic parts, don't come crying to me. Thank you. All right, done for another year.